Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby. This is a 170 second scale set and it copies Tachikawa Ki 54H Hikori. It's a Japanese army transport airplane and we have a completely new release. It's a fresh plastic absolutely new and we have a final sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see on this plastic spruce in this nice box. And as far as I remember, this key 54 will be released in several versions. So today we are taking a look at this boxing. It's SH7220. Uh, 7 0 but there will be another version which we will review a bit later when it will be out now you can get this version and first of all I can say that box size is standard for this manufacturer here is comparison with my hand next we continue with the box art box art is really beautiful here and I wish it would be possible to get it as a box uh, I mean as a poster because it would be cool to put it on the wall here we have some information about the kit it's written that it's limited edition surprisingly and on the opposite side you can find uh, some safety devices and of course address of the manufacturer together with a website name and it's interesting that here we have CMK kits both together with a special hobby. So just to hint you that these are, let's say, almost the same company. So it's a top opening box and it's a bit of a tight fit. That's why I took it off the table in order to open it. But here it is. And here is what we have inside. So of course we have assembly menu on the top. And here on the bottom we have all plastic sprues packed into the same plastic bag. So we are going to open them right now and check what is actually hidden here and this is a resealable plastic bag so that's why it will be easy thing to do and we will take out all this stuff and check together with you okay so i suggest we start with the gray plastic and then gradually move to other stuff and <laughs> it's quite interesting smell almost like a I would say childhood times when you open a new plastic kit and you feel the smell of the plastic spruce. So here it's almost the same and it's a shame that camera cannot relate to you the uh, this actual smell. So here on the first sprue we have two fuselage halves. We have tail wings and engine gondolas. Note that fuselage halves that are molded together with a tail fin and also rudder. And the same can be said about these tail wings. They come together with elevators. And I suggest we zoom in even more. It means as much as we can. So here we start with tail wings and you can see the recess panel lines. Of course recess panel lines are also present on the fuselage but it's not as deep as it could be so maybe I'll bring it even closer so here you can see it so I would not recommend to risk it with really thick layers of primer and paint because you might lose it under such let's say stuff and here we continue with engine gondolas so you can see these are typical two halves I guess other two halves will be pre-molded with the wing but we will see and let's flip it over. It's interesting to see what is inside these fuselage parts. So we have some minor features in this cockpit area. Note that this door is molded separately, which is really cool because it might be handy for some others who would like to use it for their projects. And you might have noticed that the nose cone is pre-molded with both halves. So it might be a bit tricky to get it smooth, but you will have to work around this. And of course, there are no guiding pins whatsoever. So you will have to deal with this as well. But note that tail wings that are molded as a single piece parts, they have special installation tabs, so it will be easy to get them into the right spot and avoid any unnecessary, let's say, problems with such thing. Next we continue with this plastic sprue. I guess this one is dedicated to the interior. So here we have a, a floor panel. We also have some seat parts and everything looks cool. It's really surprising that these things are actually included in 170 second scale because we are all used to see them omitted in such kits. But here you can see it comes as a standard inclusion. So it would be a shame not to work on them and get a bit better features. Next we continue with another gray plastic sprue. I was just looking what was present here and maybe we can zoom in like this so that we can start straight away with the zoomed in look. So first of all here you can see two 
control yokes and we have also separate door here we also continue with the large instrument panel and next we also have some bulkheads which will be installed into the aircraft we have some landing gear parts and engine inserts and this is a 170 second scale so it's not surprising to see such features here but of course um, you can replace it with some resin it would be worth let's say finding something to replace even though I'm not sure that it will be easy to expose such stuff because as you remember engine gondolas they come closed on this aircraft next we continue with the landing gear wheels which should be glued out of two halves as you can see um, again it's a good candidate to be replaced with the resin and also here we have propeller blades note that uh, on both we have flash in the same spot on the bottom uh, propeller blade let's flip over in order to see what we have in the landing gear wheels so we have rice borders which will be serving as a guiding elements and that's pretty much all but I really hope that CMK or maybe a special hobby themselves, they will release a resin upgrade which will bring, um, let's say, extra features to this area. And the last grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to wing halves and you can see that here we uh, have again pre-molded ailerons, recessed panel lines and as I said the engine gondolas are pre-molded as well and attachment points are placed on the leading edge. Here we continue with another house of engine gondolas and also engine coatings. Here you can see another engine, actually wing half and again it looks the same of course flaps are pre-molded even though the size of this aircraft is not that small it might be let's say uh, logical that 170 second scale flaps are pre-molded but here we have quite a large aircraft here you can see comparison with my hand so uh, it would be nice to have separate flaps in order to show them on the finished model and of course if you flip over this parts there are no guiding pins whatsoever so be ready for that and be careful while working with such stuff okay next we continue with a clear plastic sprue this one was packed into the separate plastic bag so here it is let's zoom in and you can take a closer look like this so molding quality looks fine i'm not sure I guess masks are not included just like in any special hobby kit, but you can see molding quality looks nice. So it's just a matter of careful installation. And of course it's cool that all these side windows on the fuselage, they are molded separately as well. So it's not like something pre-molded and you are given decals like some other manufacturers make such stuff. Next we continue with the decal sheet. It is also packed into the separate plastic bag. So I'm going to open it right now and here it is so maybe i will close the camera so that you can understand what is actually printed here we have also some cockpit decals so you can see instrument panel and seat belts which is really cool i mean that's always a handy addition so uh, it's nice to see it here and it's not mentioned where it is printed but printing quality looks fine so it's just a matter of careful application on your model and you'll be good to go but that's not all, we also have assembly manual, of course how would you assemble such stuff without a manual. So as you can see it's a typical special hobby brochure, we have a short history note on the first page, it's uh, written in two languages, in Czech and English. Next we continue with the parts map and as far as you can see only few parts won't be used, you can see them here, which is really surprising because usually in special hobby kits we get some spare parts to use in our next scrap projects next we continue with assembly of these seats as you remember there were several of them so you can see them installed on the cockpit floor you also work on the cockpit uh, with together with the dashboard do not forget that we have a uh, seat belt decals next by the way it would be a nice idea to get some seat belt here on these chairs i guess they were also present correct me if i'm wrong of course next we continue with uh, fuselage half features so as you can see various bulkheads get installed into one and then you join both fuselage halves together you install clear parts from outside and the same applies to the cockpit which is quite interesting parts division next we continue with the wing assembly so here you work also on the engine gondolas but because they will be visible through the engine gear parts so do not be lazy paint all this stuff and of course we 
assemble this front engine co-links we also install engine inserts and here we join all this stuff together with the wing then we install landing gear parts propeller separate fuselage door and here we continue with some final steps so as you remember fuselage door was separate so you can open it on your model and there are also two other kits available from the same brand in the same scale so you can find the review on our youtube channel here we continue with two markings this one should be quite a fun to do because of this camouflage and of course it will look gorgeous in a small scale and we have two more markings uh, with the same camouflage style so it will be up to you which one you decide to choose and here we continue with some other kits in the same scale we reviewed them as well so you can find it easily again on our youtube channel just type in the kit number and you will see it and here on the last page we have another novelty from the same brand this kit will review it so it will be also on the channel these two are already on the channel as well as all these resin upgrades so all in all we get a really attractive 172nd scale kit it should be already available you can get it on official special hobby website and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye